All right, guys, once again, I almost let July 4th pass me by without making little Kennedy some patriotic hair bows. No, 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 we can't have that. So today we are going to be making two simple hair bows. Well, you don't have to make two, but I'm making two because Kennedy's been wearing a lot of pigtails. We are going to make these cute red, white, and blue pinwheel hair bows, very simple, and then in the middle is a cute little firework. Look at the little fireworks popping out. So simple. Okay guys, today I'm working with some ribbon from Tutu the Moon. I'll leave a link down below in the description box, but it is some of the collection that I shared with you not too terribly long ago in a haul. We are working with this blue and red star print. It's very festive for the 4th of July. I'm also going to be using this flag print. And we have some 3 8 inch, and this is black with fireworks. Boom, pow. All right, so we're going to be working with those. Um, these right here are 7 8 inch, and then this is the only 3 8 inch we are working with. Of course, you'll need your scissors, a lighter. I'm using some thread, upholstery thread, my favorite. And today I'm going to be working with my fabric fusion. Uh, this is because I'm going to be piecing together a couple of pieces of ribbon. And this works wonders. It dries clear and it doesn't take long at all to dry. Of course, you'll need your clips because we'll need those little suckers so we can wear the bows. And I'm also working with a business card. This is the perfect size for my bow. Um, I'm making pigtail bows for Kennedy. If you need a tutorial on how to make your own bow templates for a pinwheel, um, I'll leave a link to that down below, but I'm pretty sure you've already seen numerous tutorials on Pinterest for making your own bow tutorials. Basically, I'm just using something so my loops are the same width. And today's business card comes from Sweet Jelly Bean Boutique, who I recently purchased a hair bow for. So you get a shout out today, Sweet Jelly Bean. Okay, Little Kennedy's um, hair bows are gonna measure approximately three inches in width. Of course, you can make yours larger or smaller. That's totally up to you. But for a three inch pinwheel, I uh, trim 22 inches of my red and white ribbon. And I've also got another piece of the blue and white, and this measures five and a half to six inches. We're gonna layer this on the bottom of the red. Okay, first things first, you wanna go ahead and heat seal both ends of your blue and white. quick little swipe. Now we are going to take our fabric fusion. You can use any fabric glue that you have on hand. I wouldn't recommend using hot glue because that tends to bulk up, um, but these, they dry clear and um, you can't even tell it's down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and layer some of my fabric fusion on the back of the blue ribbon. And I had to take the top off of mine because it kept drying up. And I'm almost out, so don't judge me. <laughs> Just need to smooth it out. Make sure it's all on the ribbon. You don't want it too wet though. All right, and then I'm just gonna take it on one of the ends of the red and white, and I'm just gonna layer this on top. Just like so. And just press down and make sure it's good and stuck to the ribbon. And you might want to let this dry for about 15 minutes. It's not necessary, but it might be a little bit better. Okay, once your ribbon is dry, that's where our business card is going to come in handy. Let me measure this business card and uh, because it's the perfect size for a three inch pinwheel. And it is about three and a half inches in width. So 
So that's the perfect size, the perfect size. All right, so now we're gonna take our ribbon. We're gonna take one end, doesn't matter if you're gonna work with the blue or the red first, and I'm going to go long ways on the card. Of course, it would be too small if I went in the middle. So I'm gonna take my ribbon, and I like to leave like one inch, maybe two, hanging off at the top, just like so. Not gonna need to work with that. Anyways, and then I'm going to wrap it around this business card. And we're gonna do that three times. So we've got one, and wrap it in the back, come around to the front, two, and then three. See where the blue came in at the top over there? All right, let's go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna leave just a little bit hanging off here. Then we're gonna come on the top, in the back, on the top, in the back, and then it's back on top. Now, you don't have to worry about if everything gets smushed together because we're gonna slide this off anyways, just like that. Now, if you're having trouble holding the middle until you're ready to crease, you can use one of these guys, which is a big salon clip, and you can clip it right there in the middle and it will hold it if you're going to sew up here. I'm not gonna sew because I'm lazy like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off and you can adjust your loops a little bit, but it's supposed to look something similar to this. All right, now I'm just going to come and crease the middle. One, two, three. And then once you have creased it, of course you're gonna take your thread and wrap it around. You can use thread, embroidery floss, whatever you have on hand. I, of course, like the embroidery floss because it is thick. And the upholstery thread because I can tug on that and it's not going to break on me. All right, so we're going to clip this off and tie it up. All right, and you're not finished yet because now we're gonna go ahead and trim up our tails here. Now I like to do like a little V cut in each tail and also trim them down just a bit. And you want them uniform in size. So I'm gonna give mine a couple of trims. And this one needs a couple of trimmy trims. All right, now I've trimmed them up. I'm just gonna do some V cuts. And then you'll want to heat seal, of course. And just want to do our other side, that blue. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding the ribbons in half and then coming up here at the very top and just clipping a portion off and it will make a nice V cut. And then you can heat seal it. All right, guys, believe it or not, the hard part is complete. You have a pinwheel bow, and this is going somewhere. All right, now we are just going to complete our little clippy with this little firecracker in the middle. All right, now for the firecracker, um, I'm taking some of this flag print ribbon right here, and I'm just going to take the corner or the end, and I'm going to start rolling it up. Just want to roll it up a few times where you get a nice cylinder shape. See, like that. And then I'm just going to add a touch of glue right here on the edge and then fold it again where it's good and glued, but it will resemble a firecracker once you are finished. Okay, and if you're worried about the glue and you wanna make sure it is good and dry, you can take an alligator clip and right here at the top, you can stick it down and hold your little fire cracker in place until it's good and dry and then you can clip it from the other ribbon. Okay, and once I clipped it apart from the rest of the ribbon, I'm just gonna take my lighter and seal that edge I want to make sure nothing is going to come undone. And then you can remove your little clip. 
And now you have a cute little firecracker. Now we just need to make the actual fireworks come out at the top. Now to make the actual fireworks, I'm gonna take some of that 3 8 inch ribbon that I mentioned earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and clip a couple of pieces, and both pieces are gonna measure about two inches, two inches in length, and they don't have to be that long. All right, there are the two pieces. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a little glue on the edge of one, and then I'm gonna put them together just like this. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my fabric glue just down there. And then we're gonna pinch, pinch. We're gonna put them together. Just maybe, it looks like a V. Now I'm gonna let this dry for just a moment. Okay, once it has dried, we are going to take some scissors and we're gonna clip both of these pieces in half. So you're gonna have like four strands. Don't need to go all the way down. We just want it to look like a firework. All right, now what you wanna do is you want to heat seal everything. And if you want to, you can trim it down just a little bit. Okay, now we're ready to put both of these pieces together. What you wanna do is come up at the top here in the little opening. You wanna add just a little bit of glue down there and we're gonna take our fireworks and we're going to stick them in the top and then push down until you're all the way at the end here. Now we have a cute little firecracker and it's ready to go on your all right guys, that's it. We are completely finished with these cute little hair bows. Now all you need to do is put them on clips and get ready to head to the parade.